Good afternoon. This is Paul Friedland. I'm your host on My Chamber TV, and today we're here with the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce and its president CEO, Miss Jean Hungerville. Thank you, Paul. And we have two awesome guests here with us today. We've got the ladies from the Marketplace, which if anybody has seen it, it's a beautiful, beautiful new building right on East Lake, this extension of McMullen Booth. And we have Miss Vanessa McCall and Kristen Dalrick. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank Tell you us about your us. facility. Your gorgeous facility. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I would love to say Market Street on East Lake or Market Street East Lake is a fantastic memory care for seniors. It is like something you've never seen before. I've That's true. Doing memory care for many years and I've never seen a more beautiful physical plant in my entire life. And you're new, so you've just been there, what, about a week? I've been at Market Street for one week. I've been um, an executive director for 15 years and I've been, this is my third all memory care community and this is by far the most beautiful memory care I've ever had the privilege of running in my life. So When the opening was, I believe, earlier in the year, I was just, we did the ribbon cutting from the chamber and I was absolutely mesmerized by walking down the streets and looking at um, all of the beautiful interior and listening to why some of that was done that way and I know they're going to be showing some photos up here of it and you can talk a little bit more about that um, but Vanessa you've yeah. also been only here six months yeah just six months but it was very purposefully built from the time that the foundation was laid for those that have a cognitive impairment and we feel that this is the way memory care should be not just oh. beautiful but it's secure it offers the residents an opportunity to have a different experience every day gotcha and you guys if anybody's driven past it knows that it it looks a lot like um, Jean said earlier, it looks like it could be a big disco. I know when it was going up, it said market. I didn't market. say that. <laughs> yeah, it did. I, and you know, the funny thing is, is I know when it was going up, it said Market Street, and I kept going, okay, it must be, because it's so close to Crescent Oaks, I'm thinking they must be opening stores and ah. fronts like that. Yes. And so, it does. Yeah, and it does. You, you keep talking about what makes it so unique. Well, the design, number one, we're talking about the state of the art. Okay. Um, there's actually a tree growing in the middle of Market mm -hmm. Plaza. Okay. Um, we can have an, an opportunity to present a different environment every day with the sounds that the residents hear from birds chirping to music playing, something that they can remember from their era to something new. And also the lighting, even if it's storming outside, and we know it rains a lot in Florida, uh, we can have an environment of sunshine and a beautiful day inside the plaza. Okay. Yeah. And, and it is set up as a plaza. That's the thing that I was, you, you go and you can sit in there's stores for beauty shop, there is um, a coffee shop. I can't, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember Yeah, there's this a bakery. Okay. Yes, and we actually have a live baking demonstration every single day. Yes, and they range from candy to, what is it called, the Greek tzatziki's? Did yeah. I say that right? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> to even Greek salad. Tzatziki sauce. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. They have a newsstand as well, and I'd like to, to cap or, or to piggyback on that because in memory care, one of the largest challenges with communal living in memory care is residents to display wandering behaviors, meaning they're looking okay. for something, and that's typically um, usually an unmet need. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for something, but they can't verbalize necessarily what it is. So what you want to do in memory care is give them a purposeful wandering path, meaning that there's a destination. Okay. So they're wandering. So to have the residents stroll through Market Plaza and to be able to watch them sit on the bench by the tree and look up into the tree and hear the birds, to look at them go over to the newsstand and pull off the paper and really take it and walk back to their apartment with it, to walk into the bakery and grab a treat, that's purposeful wandering. They are finding a need that way and they're safe. There's no such thing as no in our community, mm -hmm. and it's all barrier free. They're in and out of the courtyards all the time. They don't have to beg for permission to go in, a, you know, outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how life should be. Dementia does not equal dumb. Dementia, they need to be kept safe, right. but they also need to be able to give, be given their choices, their right. dignity, mm -hmm. um, and their how they're going to design their day. And I've never seen anybody but Market, Play, or Market Street be able to do that. That's awesome. But with the um with, for the people that are watching today, is it is assisted? Is it considered assisted living? 
or is it just really it's memory care within and of itself? No, we're licensed as an assisted living. All, all buildings in Florida are licensed as assisted living buildings. However, we do only focus on the memory care Memory care. Programming. And is it uh, private pay, ins insurance? How does it work if somebody's interested in getting over there to see you guys and bringing a family member? It is private pay. However, what people fail to realize is there's also components of care that are covered under the insurance, such as doctor's visits. We okay. have doctors who round, mm -hmm. podiatrists. Mm -hmm. Tree rounds, pharmacies there, physical therapy, occupational therapy, mm -hmm. all those things can be billed through your insurance, your Medicare, and your secondary. Mm -hmm. And there are alternative sources of financing as well, some of the veterans programs that are available yes. that people don't really utilize. That's a great benefit, and we are able to um, accept those funds because... Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We're licensed exactly. by the state of Florida. So. Yeah. Yeah. And a couple of months ago, we had Brookdale here, which is an assisted right. living facility yes. and very light care. So this is taking it to you know completely different oh, level. Definitely. And yeah. I've had to learn some of the differences between the different um, mm -hmm. alternatives um, for our aging parents and our aging selves yeah. too. Right. So, but actually. there's lots of choices, and this one is such a beautiful choice. You, when you come to our lunches and you talk yes. about what's going on, yes. um, it's just so. It's so nice to hear you and the pride in your voice that you talk about. Yeah, I am very passionate about memory care. It has become my baby, if you <laughs> will. I've been in the industry for about 13 years. I just again got here from Atlanta, but. Um, it's amazing. Everyone at Market Street is trained to be certified dementia practitioners. Okay. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, so that's a level that's above what they normally do. And what does that mean to somebody that's listening to, to somebody that's thinking again about bringing a family member to you all? That means that there's ongoing training all the time for dementia and Alzheimer's because every situation is different. Yes. Amazingly so, I've met hundreds of people and no one's ever been the same. The disease affects everyone differently. Sometimes it's more of a cognitive um, impairment or sometimes it's a physical one gotcha. but we have the training we know what to do we don't have bad days we have different days okay. and that's why okay. we take the no out of the equation mm -hmm. okay oh and you know it's some of the pictures that I know that the um, our viewers have been seeing um, really are just amazing um, the colors the soft music um, when you did the opening that we that we um, assisted with yeah um, there was so much we had fun because the music was like right out of the 1950s and watching mm -hmm. and the, even though there were no residents there yet you mm -hmm. could really see what was coming yes um we even got to dress up in costumes <laughs> old hollywood old yes. hollywood you know, it was like thing. it was very dangerous it was very fun <laughs> Um, but um, just it's it's terrific and yeah. do you have something going on this, this we week? do on Friday because we are new we are having our very first annual wreath street holiday lighting extravaganza we're having wreaths that the residents are decorating that are going to be on their particular apartments okay. but we're also accepting donations and those wreaths will be auctioned off a silent auctions and the proceeds benefit the Alzheimer's Association and that'll yeah. be this Friday that'll be this Friday Which starting is at December 3rd with November, November 30th. November 30th, starting at 4.30 okay. in our community. So if someone would like to donate a wreath, mm -hmm. how do they do that? They just give us a call um, at Market Street and let us know, or they can drop it by, and I'm happy to pick it up if we need to do that. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I understand I the website is up on the, on the screen okay. so people yes. can get and that. The, and that. the phone number for them to contact you at? The phone number is 727-202-9314. Oh. Awesome. Yes. And what other kind of well, I know you've got, what other kind of events you have coming up and what other things do you do? Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, that's okay. January. Yes, we do. We have a lot of events coming up. Every month we do a, a Sunday brunch, the second nice. Sunday of the month. And the first Friday of every month we have um, First Friday Jazz. Oh, nice. And then the cool. one that has become the favorite is Sundays on Sunday, which is the third Sunday oh. of every month at 2.30. Nice. Who doesn't like ice cream, <laughs> of right? Of course. And, and we have some wonderful creative talents in the kitchen, and they have created different flavors, even gelatos, a coffee home made ice cream yeah it's really it's a great event and everyone loves it uh, mm -hmm. and then we have something coming up in January yes um, with the chamber we're mm -hmm. going to be doing um, the chamber mixer and it can um, 
if anyone is interested in coming to that, um, they can give us a call. It's going to be, I can't remember what the fourth Wednesday that is. is. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, yeah, versus a Tuesday. It's, I'm not sure, but it's the fourth Wednesday, fourth Wednesday of the Monday yes. from 5 to 7. It'll be the 23rd. It'll be the 23rd, and it'll be open to people, for people to come and visit. Yes, um, so and get a chance to see the community. Absolutely. Yes. Another Beautiful. important thing while everybody's listening to us, um, anytime stop by, if they, um, for a tour, do you prefer they call ahead? Anytime. You're okay. welcome. Anytime at Market right. Street. There. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. There. Awesome. And then you spend a lot of time out in the community. I do, out in the community, learning my way around, yes. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. When you're out in the community, what are you telling people? We've got, we're winding down here. Yes, we're kind of letting them know that we are unique and that we offer a different product. But it's a wonderful service that we have now being a standalone memory care. There aren't a lot of those around. And it still is a little to some people, but it's really great if you just come and see it. Yeah. The, the walls speak for themselves. And aren't there several of these um, memory care that they're they're building now? Is there another one that's coming up in Florida, or is there? Um, There's not another standalone memory care. They're branching out and doing assisted living memory care okay. combination okay. communities. Okay. Yes. Because I remember when I was talking with your your CEO, he yes. was excited about the next project. Right. 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 Well, there are three currently. Watercrest has three three oh, Market Street. Streets. Well, which guys, are standalone. We believe it or not, our time oh, is up oh, already. It was see, wonderful it having you both on. <laughs> We will be back with yes. some more awesome members of the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. Stay tuned and join us. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978.
Welcome back to My Chamber TV. I'm Paul Friedlander. I'm your host today, and we have with us the awesome Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce and their president and CEO, Ms. Jean. Talk to us and tell us, introduce your new members oh, to us. Well, we have here one of my favorite members. Okay. It's the Artisans Guild, and we have Heather Risley, Susan Duda, and Frank Rip. Hip. 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 I don't know why I keep wanting to do that. Anyway. Um, and they're all artists, but also um, Heather is sort of the ringleader of the guild, I think. But well, you tell, tell them, them what anyway. you do. It's fascinating. Well, actually, we are a group of 14 artists in all, uh, including one jewelry designer. The rest of us are painters in all media. We've got oil painters, acrylic painters, uh, pastel, watercolor, even colored pencil, charcoal, yeah. we cover it all. Yeah. And, and all the different styles as well, so it's a, a real good mix. I could do colored pencil. Do they have the numbers and stuff? <laughs> well, we try to keep those covered, <laughs> but yeah, you're welcome could, to do that. If you got the numbers, I could do colored pencil. <laughs> yeah, Frank, works. what do you do over there? I do oils and acrylics myself. I work in a lot of different styles. Um, Mostly in the 16 by 20 range. Okay, and forgive my ignorance, but do you all have daytime jobs also, or is is art? Your, this is their this, daytime this job. Is your day. Okay, that's why I said forgive my ignorance. Mm -hmm. Susan, tell us what you do, young lady. I do watercolor, acrylic, and oil. Okay, mm -hmm. and then do you guys have a storefront? Yes. Oh, we do. We have this wonderful storefront we've just moved into uh, less than two months now. It's one of the old buildings on Tarpon Avenue, uh, nice. over a hundred years old. And you walk in, it has these uh, very high tin ceilings. It still has. It's nice. just beautiful. One yeah, beautiful. wall is uh, the hundred year old brick and uh, the other is, is something we can hang on more easily. <laughs> So uh, we're really delighted with it. It's a very large space. That's awesome, dude. I think do we'll you have some pictures of it up yeah, here shortly. Yeah. Do you offer classes? And we do. As a matter of fact, Susan offers uh, classes in acrylics. Tell them uh, acrylic, uh, oil, or watercolor nice. on Saturdays. And um, oh, okay. And what? I'm there your all typical day. student. Um, actually, I had students as young as six years old. Oh, and wow. up to 96 years old. No kidding. No kidding. And th it's incredible what people can do, and children also. Um, they have no bounds. They have no bounds, and they're capable of anything, really. Oh, that's really very yeah. cool. And 96-year-olds, too. <laughs> well, all the experience, you know, they, okay. they can bring it to what they're painting and uh, let it out on the canvas. It's great. You know. It's really neat. Yes. And this is some of your work? Yes. This is some of students and work right here. Let me scooch it over this way so you can see it in the camera. There you go. And um, so what kind of hours does the studio have? Can people come in and purchase during the day? Is, does it work just like a normal storefront? Yes, it is really. We're open currently six days a week, generally from 11 to 5, but Saturdays we stay open later till at least 7, maybe 9. Nice. Now are you guys Wonderful on Christmas site all the time too? There's always an artist cover in the guild during the open hours. Okay. Um, we also open up private showings also when uh, oh, do off hours. Okay, and talk to us about that. Talk to us about the private showings. Well, we like this month we uh, featured a Palm Harbor artist named Lee Albion. Okay. She's. And I had the pleasure of meeting her. Tell, talk long, about her. Long, long-term, well-traveled artist, well-respected okay. in the art community nice. around Palm Harbor and Tarpon Springs. Um, wonders for the Tarpon Art Association. So we felt we could give back to her and give her a, a whole wall show um, of over 60 pieces about. And we had a good 200 people show up for her opening and she was there, told stories. It was a brilliant nice. night. But the nice. one key thing is, is how old is she? Mm -hmm. 94, I believe, and, and still spirited? painting today. Yes. Oh, yes. my Sharp goodness. Sharp as a tack, she really is. Yeah. She's, she's an it's the painting thing. that keeps her young. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. See, 96. I had a student, 96, yeah. and she's there in her And when I came in and was talking with you about Small Business Saturday mm -hmm. um, and looking at the guild and um, it was, or looking at the paintings, she was standing there and I had the pleasure of meeting her and had a very spirited discussion <laughs> with her about the, what she's doing and I was just totally taken with her. Yeah. 
Um, but Heather, was this same um, idea born out of, of you? I mean, did you put this whole guild uh, together? Well, I won't take credit for that. We we were originally in um, the chamber building. That was they were before the old building. Where it was right? before. before. I think I remember that. Yes. And then they moved to a smaller quarter. So right. we were looking for something, uh, some place to uh, display our work. And we started out in the smaller space, much smaller space, with good visibility. So we got a good start there, the group of us. And then this other opportunity opened up to have this beautiful space to show the work. Right and on Tarpon so Avenue. Right on Tarpon Avenue in the block uh, where the antique shops are and, okay. and all of that. So it's, it's it's just an ideal place and we're very, very hopeful to be there for quite a while. Awesome. And they were very busy on Saturday, which was, we did small, small business, business Saturday yes. Yes. and the t streets were full. That it was, was wonderful. Nice. It was, that yeah, was it was awesome. really good to have that going and I'm, on. And I'm sure you guys, um, what's, what's, what time of year is the art festival? The art, the Thanksgiving Arts and Crafts Festival was the same weekend. Okay. That is the Saturday and Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend, and then we did a, a push with Small Business Saturday. Right. And the difference we did this year, and I think it really helped you all as well as a lot of other businesses, is we moved that art festival over to Court Street, so it was leaving Tarpon Avenue open, and so people were between the two. And I saw people and took pictures and put it on our Facebook page of outside the gallery, people coming out with shopping. Oh bags yes. and a, a, a lot of traffic which we very were very well pleased to see. Was it good? Yes. Yeah. Um, I good. mean art pieces for Christmas. What a unique oh. thing to give someone. It actually that, that is perfect description of it. It is so unique and it's so personal. So often people you know they just get a general gift that doesn't mm -hmm. really necessarily mean anything but a piece of original art is so special. It is. Um, yes. So you, I know you've, we talked about the oils and everything else, but you said that there's sculpts. Is there sculpting in there too? We or? don't have sculpture. We have some jewelry. Jewelry, you said. Uh, okay. Right. Dan. And, and David, Dan I have Radden. to tell you about David Radden. He's he's got really interesting paintings. This very modern look, very okay. Jetson actually era. Jetson. I always think of yeah. okay. to see his work. But he also makes makes these really whimsical pieces of furniture, small pieces, lamps, oh. and little tables. Mm -hmm. nice. That so colorful and whimsical that people are loving those too. Oh wow! Oh, and yeah. what again? People don't think of that as art. They think of something that's a flat piece on the yeah, wall. But speak. But yeah, three dimensional. Right? And one of the the chamber's unique um, give and takes with the the guild and the association is they do our walls in and change it out quarterly. Change it out, nice. Mm -hmm. And um, these guys were in last month. Frank was describing what he was doing. Um, what his, what inspired him for his pieces, and I had the lovely opportunity to walk over, interrupt him, and put a sold on one of his pieces as he was oh, nice. describing it. Oh, nice. And it was built, it was bought by the executive director of the Leifa Ratner Museum, his oh, piece. Nice. So nice. A, a, that, the testament special. to his talent. And, um, and do, I know you work in oils and things, any particular type of genre? Or? Well, I, d I work plain air a lot. Um, I do a lot of realism. Okay. Um, por anything from portraits. The, the whole gamut. Lifelong uh, love. Have you been doing this since you were young? I've been painting not that well you're not over 30 now. some odd years. Yes. Oh, okay. So since you were about six. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss, Miss Susan, how, how long have you had this love for the arts? Um, I grew up loving art. I saw a uh, picture on a magazine cover when I was in sixth grade. I think uh -huh. it was fifth or sixth grade of uh, Persistence of Memory mm. by Dali. Okay. And ah. um, and I when I saw that I was like, oh, I'm gonna be an artist, <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. So. That's awesome. Now, did you grow up down here? Yes, I did. I grew up in St. Petersburg, okay. and you know, one of my first uh, trips in my school in fourth grade, we the teacher brought us up to uh, Tarpon Springs. No huh? kidding. Yes, yeah, and it was great, and it stuck in my mind. I love Tarpon. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's one of my favorite places. That's neat. Yeah. Well, you mentioned plein air, and mm -hmm. you do you want to talk a little bit about your love of plein air as well, and what you put on every year? Well, um, which I plein air, I which love it too. essentially means painting on location painting okay. out in the air Thank you. a French term <laughs> but um, ten years ago now uh, I started uh, an event called um, just 
Tarpon Springs plein air. And we had artists coming at the end. We had artists coming from all over the country to come to Tarpon Springs for three days to paint on location for those three days. Nice. And then we would uh, put the work up. Uh, it's been at the Heritage Museum the last few years and uh, have nice big reception for everybody, public invited, and we would sell uh, work. We were hoping we would sell work, uh, which we did. And I think everyone's had a good time. We have people coming back year after year. That's so we awesome. were getting 60 artists coming. And that is the same time every year? It's about the same time. In, it's it's going to be in uh, April okay. this year, yeah. April. And believe it or not, we are winding down on our segment already. You know, so We could talk about this all afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> I, we, we, we'll get people over there to come in and see it. Well, I hope they do. We and appreciate that's that. that's paint and photo also. Oh, paint and photo. That's, that's right. Oh, that's right. Can yes. participate and that's a rare that. thing. It right. is, yeah, for photographers. But, all right. Yeah. Thank you. And we are Thank taking you. a break. We will be back with some more of the awesome members from the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. We are back, as Hi. always, having fun on My Chamber TV, and I'm Paul Friedlander. I'm your host today. I'm here with Jean Hungerville from the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce, and that's who we're featuring today. Ms. Jean, we have two people from... 
We're going to call it SailingTarpenSprings.com. Yes. We have Dimitri. Sailing Tarpon Islands. Sailing Tarpon, I'm sorry. That's sailing okay. Tarpon Islands.com. It would be unusual to be able to sail Tarpon Springs uh -huh. um, <laughs> down the main street. It's too busy. But we have Dimitri Savalas mm -hmm. and we have Kathy Chalupolis. Yes. Did I pronounce that correctly? Guys, tell us about, you guys have a phenomenal business mm -hmm. that probably needs to be heard because you offer some fun things for people to do. Absolutely. Talk to us about it. Well, we're a private uh, crewed uh, sailing vessel. It's oh. a 390 um, Oceanus. It's made by Beneteau. It's a French sailing boat. Okay. And uh, my husband and I are um, partners in sailing for the last 35, 40 years. Nice. And we recently uh, moved to Tarpon and started the sailing charter business. So we uh, what we do is we have clients or our guests come who would like who are interested in sailing or would just like uh, something special or different to do um, and the trip and the hours and the experience is completely up to the client. Uh, if they want to go for a three hour uh, sunset cruise, that's fine. If they would like to spend the whole day with their family or um, guests from out of town, uh, whatever, whatever the client would like to do. Right. And how, you guys, how, so how, you've been in the business for a long time. How long have you been here in Tarpon now? Uh, Three years. Three years. Uh, go out at uh, uh -huh. for Dodecanese off the main boulevard. Where do you go out of? It's off the Anclote Road. Anclote Road. Oh, yes, off the Anclote. Out from okay. Yeah. Awesome. And how do they? And I looking at these pictures. I see I they can. You can do weddings. You can mm -hmm. do. So you take them out to do it on the boat or do it out at the islands or which whichever they prefer. Well, we ask them. Ask the client. Uh, if they have an itinerary in mind, of gotcha. course, because it's client-based, it's their day, their way, and the amount of hours they want to like spend that. on their the boat. Their day, their way. Right. I like that. That is good. And so, let's say uh, the typical uh, party we have is maybe a snowbird, and they're having family coming down, and so they want to take them. Uh, on an adventurous day, uh, someone who e who has never even sailed before, or someone who's sailed before, whatever they whatever they prefer to do. Uh, so we'll sail out to one of the like Anclo Key oh. or Three Rookers, or if they want to go farther down the coast, we can do that as well. Um, at some point, we'll usually anchor and have some lunch. Nice. Um, if they want to swim off the boat, they can, or we can take them to one of the islands um, with the uh, dinghy. They can walk around and uh, sh uh, collect shells, wh whatever is their preference. Nice. Uh, then we, uh, after they're finished with that, then we take them um, out sailing a little bit more. If they want to participate, they can. If they want to just sit back and relax and have a cocktail, that's fine as well. It's like I so said, it's, it's, it's always day. it's always chartered in the sense that if they want to sail, they can do it. But somebody's going to be on right. one of the all be we on the boat. Experienced crew. Gotcha. We'll be an experienced crew on the boat. On the boat. Do, do you, you do overnights? We can, yes. Can you? Uh -huh. Okay. So uh -huh. someone could go out for an, uh, an entire weekend. They can, and absolutely. Have a great time. Oh, Takes wonderful. a little bit more planning, but that's, it, you know, it's, um, like, like I said, it's the client's uh, decision what they want to do, how much time they want to spend, where they want to go. If they want to just strictly go sailing, they can. If they want to, they will want to anchor and um, they have children with them, um, they can oh, jump off fun. the boat and swim. Nice. So it truly is the client's choice of the experience. You Absolutely. guys cater to them in a, in a really Absolutely. good way. Dimitri, let me ask you a question. I'm not being that familiar. Um, how? What is the capacity on the boat? If somebody's bringing family or wants to have a little party, what's the capacity for, of number of people on the boat? Uh, we kind of have like a limit of six of them. Okay. And plus the two versus eight. Okay. All it right. can be more, but then it becomes too crowded. It's okay. best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So ideally, yeah. ideally six people. Six right. is the capacity. Yeah. Uh -huh. but okay. We also have taken out two. Uh, we had a gentleman propose, and we also oh. yes, and then we also um, uh, my husband is an experienced photographer, so he did photography and video, nice. and so they had that as a keepsake. Nice. Oh, how yes. delightful! Uh -huh. In fact, when mm -hmm. I first met them, and the, and the this this the um, excursion, this adventure that you're, you're uh -huh. introducing to Tarpon, I was so excited because um, we were always looking for something new and different to do, mm -hmm. and the prices are very reasonable. Yes. It doesn't matter how many people you have yeah. on, and what is it, minimum of three or four hours? 
Uh, well, we try to keep to a minimum of three. Okay. Uh, because it does take uh, a bit of time to get out of the Anclote River and mm -hmm. then get actually to a point where we can sail. So it's um, not, it, I mean, we can go less, but it's, you don't really get the sailing experience. And, the then, and then you can go for uh -huh. the rest of the day, the rest of the weekend, right. or however um, along that right. someone would want to go. Right. It's just, I, I've only ever done this one time and it was somewhere else, mm -hmm. and it is so nice to just relax and let someone yes, else do is. all of the work. Yes, it is. We pamper our um, clients and um, when you go on a sailboat you don't have the engine noise right. so it's mm -hmm. extremely relaxing. When you come back you feel like you've gone on a couple of days vacation because it is really relaxing. Nice. Yeah. The weather doesn't cooperate you go under motor sometimes or not. Yes. yes. Right. right. Or if the weather is really uh, yeah. you know, you would say, can we do it another day because we'd be safer. Yeah, mm. yeah. We're very so. flexible. That's, yeah. that's awesome. And then, like you heard, guys, you can take, you can go out, propose to your upcoming spouse. You mm -hmm. can do all right. types of things. Right. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of birthdays. Like, we have a, a, a woman who's going to be turning the big 60. She wants to celebrate it on the boat. Oh, how wonderful. Right. We had a, a mother take her 17-year-old uh, out with, um, let's see, as you can see on the website, one of the pictures, the uh, teenagers jumping, jumping off the off boat. The, boat. Yeah. Right. the one you thought yeah. was me. That was not yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't you. Yeah. Oh, okay. had a wonderful time. Not even 40 years ago, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, and I know we've been showing it and we're showing mm -hmm. the website and everything, yeah. but just, um, I always like to ask people in the middle, a uh, phone number for them to contact mm -hmm. you at. It's 781-760-0163. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Or awesome. 727. Okay, go ahead. 727-279-7550. There you go. And right. again, we're flashing it up, up the there screen. and you can see it up on the right, screen. Right. But I always like to have yes. you guys say it out loud. Right, right. Um, tell us, mm -hmm. is, if I'm sitting here watch, listening to the show right now, what else? I mean, you guys got some really special things. Can you think of anything else that I would want to know? I see you can go out dolphin sighting. Well. 99% of the time we do see dolphins because they like to play with the sailboat. They like to swim oh. alongside. A lot of them, uh, they, they appear to become attached to us because they'll play with us for a long period of time. Nice. They'll swim up on side and kind of turn on the side and no, give us the eye no, kind really? of, yeah, to no. check us out hey, to see. see That's awesome. And that, is that because there's no motor noise? Yes, mostly. Yeah. 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 Even with yeah. the motor on, like the other day we had one following us for 40 minutes. For 40 oh, minutes, really? it was inside mm -hmm. of the boat with the engine running. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Because oh, you have to motor out of the out of right. the Anclote River, right. and then All you get out. to Three Rookers, right. he was right next to us. No kidding. Oh, that's true. What is one of the most fun trips that you all did with someone? It was probably with the younger group, it was for us because they were very adventurous. Uh, the younger group, when the mother took her son and uh, his friends out uh, for the, a birthday party. And so we had a birthday cake, the, the, the younger kids had their music, they were really enjoying and giggling and jumping off the boat and um, really enjoying the water. So probably that was right. fun. I guess maybe one of the good things for us is that while we're doing this and yeah. we're taking people out here fun, we have fun too. Right. Oh, yeah. So we yeah. enjoy yeah. that. We make new friends. Right. And That's awesome. Lovely. Do something you love. And, and, and in, ter in terms of sorry. sorry about that, John. In terms of <laughs> in terms of lunch and good things like that. Um, Bring their own, you guys cater both, how does that work? Well, we can arrange for catering. Okay. Uh, especially for those people who are out well, of town. The kids. And right, for, for those people who are out of town, it's maybe difficult for them to find a place. We can arrange for that. Um, or we suggest they bring a sandwich. Um, we do supply um, light snacks and any kind of cold beverages if you want. Um, we also encourage people if they prefer alcoholic beverages to bring um, their own alcohol on board. We have plenty of storage uh, uh, to keep anything cold that they need. And uh, we also, um, after, towards the end of the trip, when everyone's relaxed and they just need a little snack, we have a, a beautiful uh, array of uh, um, a, a cheese and um, oh, a cracker and fruit board oh, how and nice. with nuts and just some dried snacks. Um, but we, but we really do. I, 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 everyone who's had 
who's had the experience with us has complimented us on the relaxing, uh, pampered experience oh, that bet. they've had. And made them feel like family. Uh, right. There you go. That's what they Right. We, we try to um, pick up on what they would like and if they want to engage in conversation, that's fine. If not, we um, keep in our own little space and allow them to roam the boat freely. Also, there's... Um, uh, we have two lovely cabins and a salon down below. Oh, okay. Um, two heads. Um, so it's uh, a very, very comfortable accommodation. It does sound comfortable. Uh -huh. yeah, if and if uh -huh. someone is interested in, in mm -hmm. sailing or learning to sail, mm -hmm. can they? Can you? Do, do they do that as well? Because they can participate with us. Absolutely. We don't actual teach per se, but they're absolutely welcome to help participate. Uh, that makes it more fun. You know. Guys, well, it sounds like an awesome experience. We're starting uh -huh. to wind down, so real quick question. Can you, can somebody schedule a trip on a holiday? Yes, they can. Okay. That's what we need to know, guys. We are getting oh, ready to go to break. that gives me an idea. There you go. <laughs> and we thank you, and we'll be back with one more of the awesome members of the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. good. Hi guys, we're back. We're back. With My Chamber TV. I'm Paul Friedlander and I'm your host today with the awesome Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce and Miss Jean Hungerville, the President's CEO. 
and we've had three awesome, awesome members of the chamber on, and we're here with number four. We have just gone from water, we're now going into the air with the Tampa Bay Aviation and Airplane and Helicopter Services. Absolutely. And Stella LeClay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yes. See, so there's more to do in tarpon than than yes. just the sponge off. There's a and, lot and of my buddy to do. here told me that this is we they thought the sailing was fun. She said you guys have some awesome things. So talk to us That's about right. what you Absolutely. all do. Absolutely. We're we're basically a flight school. Uh, so we teach you to fly helicopters or planes. We also have a charter airplane company. So if you want to go to the Bahamas or to the Keys or anywhere in the world, we can take you with a pilot and a plane. Um, but Today I want to focus really on our helicopter tours because we actually fly right over Tarpon Springs in some of our tours. You should see nice. some of the photos she sends. And right? it's, it's really fun. It's an amazing experience. The biggest misconception is that it's loud and noisy and very scary. Not at all. Um, you put on your Bose headsets, the silencing. All you do is talk to your pilot, who's an instructor as well. So all of our instructors uh, and pilots are very well versed in flying for years. And they'll take you over and show you some of the most incredible scenery that you could ever imagine. Whether you're a tourist, first time here, right. or um, a local who wants to see where you live, where you play every day. Fun. It's incredible. Now, really fun. Scheduling wise, do you guys fly seven, do the helicopters go seven days a week? Yes, we do. Uh, we fly from nine o'clock until five. You can also schedule earlier or later, uh, right. depending on the, the, the climate change and the darkness. Um, we do have sunset tours. We have full moon tours where you'll fly oh. out in the, when the full moon is out. Uh, we do fly dine packages where you can actually, we'll fly you to a place like Innisbrook, for example. You have dinner, your pilot will wait for you and then pick you back up and take you back to the airport. So is that implying that, oh, that um, Innisbrook does have a helicopter pad to land? We, we go on the greens after after playtime. <laughs> yeah, after play <laughs> yeah, yeah, after playtime. Yeah, because I um, would imagine that making a golfer really angry. Yes, yes, yeah, when it's shouting, <laughs> par! <laughs> Avoid our helicopter, please. Um, we do um, fly out of both Clearwater Air Park and out of Tarpon, uh, uh, sorry, downtown St. Pete. Okay. So you have different tours, but both locations you can actually fly over to Tarpon Springs. Okay. Uh, very cool to see the beach area, the downtown area. Yes, it is. And point out the, the sponge docks and the boats. It's really fun. Uh, it's, it's quite an experience. How many, and how many people in the helicopter? Maximum of three, oh, minimum of two. Three. Okay. Yes. Um, and all ages. If you are under two, you sit on mama's and papa's lap. Okay. Um, okay in the back uh, seats, but um, otherwise any age can go. And you know, there again, a misconception, oh, it's only for young people, absolutely not. Some of our best clients are, you know, honeymooners, um, retirees that want to oh, have an anniversary. Oh, yeah. um, we have champagne packages and romance packages that you can no add kidding. on. So you can actually sip some champagne as you're flying over beautiful destinations. Now you do have the doors closed on the side. We do, now, if you, <laughs> <laughs> well, thinking we about did. sipping champagne, the doors had better be closed. Yes, for the regular tours we do, but if you wanted to rent the helicopter to go out and do a photo oh, shoot yes. or a specialty, we do um, golf ball drops and Easter egg drops for oh. local churches and golf courses. Nope. So we will keep the doors open. Okay. We will make sure we're well <laughs> strapped in and we'll throw out... Oh. There yeah, you go, there there's you go, your there helicopter. You go. There you are. So we have two, uh, actually three helicopters uh, that are Robinson 44s that, okay. that can hold the maximum of three with the pilot. We also have Robinson 22s, and those are for if, uh, instruction. So if you want to actually learn to fly a helicopter, we can take you up. No kidding. Uh, makes a great gift, and right now, of course, we're in the season, so gift certificates are fantastic. You can oh, actually a give, a, gift you you can give a gift of, of, of flight and uh, an instruction will take you up and you'll actually with a helicopter or a fixed wing you can actually now do you have classes that will actually get somebody to the point where they can actually get their license absolutely our flight what? school starts all the way from pilot right uh, private pilot all the way through to commercial with every step in between okay uh, on to CFI CFI 2 <laughs> and then uh, a lot of times right out to the airlines after that okay but it's we can do both CFI certified flight instructor correct yes okay. absolutely absolutely okay. and 
just so I understand, so for somebody that's brand new, I want to learn how to fly a helicopter. What type of what type of time does that take somebody in in school? Yeah, uh, just depending on your availability, right. we always recommend uh, at least two to three times a week flying, mm -hmm. just okay. because you have a lot right. of ground school and a lot of things that are constantly going through. But um, you know, it depends on your time schedule. Again, okay. we're open seven days. Mm -hmm. You make a deal with your pilots if you want to come earlier or later. Mm -hmm. You can fly. Um, and do a lot of groundwork. Remember that that's a big part of it too. Right. The flying is the fun part, but the oh, yeah. the actual groundwork is is. And uh, it's also spend. Does it depend on the person's skill set and is it and their ability it, to pick he, up, or are there a certain number of hours that are required to get? Yes, a exactly. Gotcha. For example, um, most people on a fixed wing take about fifty to fifty-five hours okay. if they're regularly studying. Right. Mm -hmm. um, with a helicopter, it might take a little less or a little more. It just depends on how much they absorb. Um, they're Because they're so very different. Too. They are. Yeah. They are. Well, let's talk about the fun stuff. I see yeah. we have some um, rack cards here with helicopter tours starting at 49 yeah. and starting That's at 69. Yes, so you can fly out of um, St. Pete starting at 49, uh, 69. Out of uh, Clearwater right now, we are flying um, starting 50 minutes because we want to make sure that you're going up and you're going to have a great time right. seeing a little bit of the downtown area the beaches <coughs> our beautiful honeymoon island and caladesi and all of that uh -huh. um, anywhere through to one hour you can custom build it so if you want to fly over your home we can arrange that and then you can actually have relatives fly you know waving back up to you and again with our with our um Actually, uh, charters, yeah. you can actually charter a helicopter as well. If let's say you want to go somewhere in helicopter rather than going by plane, right? You can do so as long as it's a maximum of three people. Okay, and the oh. and the distance that uh, for a helicopter will a helicopter get you to the Bahamas? Oh, um, you'd have to make a stop, of course. Right. But yes, um, okay. Helicopter can land in a lot of places that a plane cannot. Right. Okay. So we can refuel in sense. all these small little airports along the way. But if someone really definitely wants wants to go by helicopter, we can do it. We can do it. We actually just took a gentleman uh, on one of our Pilatus planes. What is uh, that? It's a, it's a six-seater, seven-seater plane. Okay. Fixed wing, single prop engine. He wanted to fly around the world. And so he chartered our plane and he just made it 26,000 miles in 25 days. Oh my God. So it's really <laughs> incredible. Yeah, nice. it's fantastic. So. Anything is possible. You just have to wish it, and we can make it happen. Around the world in 25 days. Yeah. Wow. It was amazing to follow with all the different time zones. Did, you, did, he have, did he have a pilot? or He he, he was the chief and uh, commander-in-chief, no but kidding. we did have someone from Tampa Bay Aviation and someone from uh, the logistics team that flew with him, although he was the one piloting the plane. To do this circumnavigation of the world, okay. it sure. had to be him. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if oh. I can get that much time off. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like, based on my ear set, sounds like John's ready to go. I know. I, th I think what we'll do is we'll give you a pilot, and you can just sit back and go down to the Keys or somewhere and enjoy. Yeah, no, that does speak, sound talking awesome. Talking about being able to land, we talked about you mentioned Innisbrook, but mm -hmm. you know, let's say we will you have will they take you out and are they do they have the ability to land at one of the islands like a three rooker or sand? Yeah, with tours we have to uh, not land. We have to return to the place where we took off. Okay, okay. but if we make special arrangements or we get clearance right um, you know they're fussy they want to keep nature as natural enough, as possible or you get yeah. low enough that they can jump out yeah okay. <laughs> we'd rather them not do that <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we have to bring them back home safely <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. otherwise the pilots stop. won't be with us very long <laughs> yes because you know you get out to there and then sand goes everywhere and it doesn't make everybody yeah. happy yeah we have to be very careful with the nature we're very oh, much yeah. eco-friendly we want to show you the nature without actually being part of of it. Um, you know, oftentimes you'll see sharks out there, uh, you'll see stingrays, awesome. you'll see dolphins, of course, like in the sailing trips. Sharks, not a time to jump out. And right? it's kind of scary sometimes. You'll see the swimmers and then you'll see the sharks and you're really glad that you can't scream down to them. You know, no panic uh -huh. there. Yeah. But everybody stays in their, in their areas. Have you ever had a proposal on a helicopter? We have. No kidding. We have, absolutely. Um, it's a great way to, you know, captive audience. Yeah. You're in there. <laughs> They have the champagne and they do propose. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, or exactly get out. What, yes, or get out. That's what I was thinking. <laughs>
<laughs> so I don't want to put you on the spot, That's but you right. know what? We are 100 feet off the ground right now. And, That's right. And That's we, right. Are, we are getting ready to wind down. Um, last thing, seven days a week, do you guys do tours on, on holidays also? We do, absolutely. Okay. We've got gift certificates so if anyone wants to purchase. Oh, what a great awesome. Christmas gift. And um, feel free to call us at got any time for Websites questions. up, Learn to Fly. Yep. Stella LeClay, thank you, thank you so thank much you for so being much. on our show today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for My Chamber TV, the Tarpon Springs, and we're coming back for one more second where we, one more section where we're coming back with Miss Jean to talk about what's going on at the chamber. Oh, and that's lots. There you go. Thanks, Stella. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. And we are back on yes, My Chamber are. TV. I'm Paul Friedlander. I'm your host today, and we're here with the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. This is my favorite part of the show when we do My Chamber's TVs, is that we have Miss Jean Hungerville, who's the President and CEO, and she's going to tell us about the awesome, awesome events that are getting ready to come up at the Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. And trust me, they're not only awesome, but they're a blast. Miss Jean, they okay. are fun. Well, you know, one of the things that was so much fun was um, sh showing people 
um, with our guest today that everything is not yes the sponge ox are wonderful oh my gosh I mean that is our Mickey Mouse that is our absolute everybody comes to Tarpon <laughs> Springs to everything see doesn't revolve around that <laughs> well you know a lot of it does because right. we're uh, tourism is our big big um, seller and that's that's our primary industry but there's other interesting things to do so people can come back and do other things as well and see the sponge docks and see the downtown for different um, for and, and we learned that things. they can sail and we learned that they can take helicopter rides I know, and they can isn't take fixed wing airplane rides with I know. Life is good in Tarpon Springs. I know. And yes, yes. One of these days I'm going to find somebody who let them go sponge diving too. Oh, there you and go. We'll have them on here. But I haven't gotten quite there yet. <laughs> but we just had an awesome weekend for Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. Um, we had, we talked a little bit about it when um, the Art Guild was on, but the Arts and Crafts um, Festival, which the Chamber does every weekend of Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, it's not Black Friday. It's um, <clears throat> the Saturday and Sunday. And we kick it off with small business Saturday and it was a huge success this year we did something a little different we went back to something from 10 years ago usually Tarpon Avenue was closed down this time um, after I saw it last year for my first time right. um, and a couple of shop owners had said something to me we moved it one street over to Court Street well, Court Street's bricks it's a little wider, so the fire marshal loved this idea, and um, it was it, it was easier to set up, and it allowed people more room to go back and forth, and it gave it more of a hometown walkable feel. Right, and it had to, and it had to give it had to be better for the small businesses, particularly on Tarpon Ave. Absolutely, and this was a big risk because are they going to come over to Tarpon Avenue and we had signs saying more shops over here and so I was very nervous about this this was a risk and and it turned out to be That's awesome. wonderful because we know how excited people are about change <laughs> oh really <laughs> but what what was great was um, it you know at first I thought oh dear the street over in Tarpon Avenue was they were all in the shops and then as this continued to grow um, both Court Street with all of the vendors for the Arts and Crafts Show and we really were careful of who we had for the Arts and Crafts Show. We really wanted to make certain it was um, things that people would be looking for for Christmas. Christmas. Things that are unique, not the same kind of thing you can always get. My favorite, favorite one there, and if she's watching she's going to laugh, is the woman who does the crochet. She crochets um, hot pads and uh, little hats and scarves, but she also does these dishcloths that are amazing. Really? And my whole family wants new ones every Christmas, so I had to buy 25 of them. <laughs> but, um, That's great. But it's the kind of thing where you lots of some rare, unique jewelry was there, too. It's not jewelry like we have at the Fine Arts Festival. It's some other different kinds of things. Um, but we, when I walked down Tarpon Avenue then later, we saw people filtering in and out. And if you go to our Facebook page, which is Tarpon Springs Chamber dot, uh, well, Tarpon Springs um, Chamber on Facebook, um, you'll see the photos that I took on Saturday. People walking down the street, shopping bags in nice. their arms, um, eating at the restaurant, That's sitting out. So it was a beautiful day. It was a Chamber of Commerce weekend. There you go. And it was, it, it, this turned out and, to be a huge and it success. gets back to what everybody's been pushing. Let's let's uh, you know small Black business. Friday. Let's talk about small businesses. Yeah. Well, we had um, some press that came in on Saturday and shot some footage for us, Great. and that ran all day long on um, on Saturday. And earned media is the best. So as as we know here, yeah, um, is the best. And so that I think helped boost for Sunday as well. Um, I'm not, you know, making change for change's sake. It's right. only when, um, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But if, if it's it something a little sense, different, yeah. so let's make some sense. I got a couple of phone calls on Saturday, excuse me, on Monday, saying thank you because not only did it, it encourage people to go to places, leaving Tarpon Avenue open um, allowed people who were coming from outside to then drive down to the sponge docks. So the trickle down to the sponge docks, which I hadn't anticipated, right. um, was tremendous. They were extremely busy down there. And a lot of times what happens when Tarpon Avenue is closed, people don't continue on down because no. it's not an easy route to see. And so the fact that I had um, 
a woman from the Sponge Exchange give me a call and That's tell me nice. how much she appreciated it. I'm going to go down and visit her tomorrow. But I was just absolutely, it made me feel good. That's I thought, awesome. okay, this is terrific. So that, and then that evening was Wine Walk that the Merchants Association put on, which was just absolutely insane. It was over 600 people. Nice. So. Um, thank goodness that's not my event, that's the merchant's event because it's more than we could handle at the, the small chamber. But, tis the season. Yes, so, so Christmas we now, got we've got up, coming up. We have this Friday on the 30th at 4 p.m. the Art Association, Art Guild, who mm -hmm. was here, um, will have the ribbon cutting on their new building. Nice. So at four o'clock, they're going to be having you know appetizers, some wine. We're going to be doing a ribbon cutting with the city. Um, nice. So that'll be four o'clock. That's right on Tarpon Ave. Right on Tarpon Avenue. Um, can't miss it. There'll be balloons out. It's right near the end where um, the Pinellas Trail and um, okay. and um, Tarpon Ave come together. Nice. Lots of parking. Mother Mears parking lot on the street. Those kinds of things. No parking fees in. Tarpon Springs. Yeah. Everything's free. There you go. So put that on your calendar. Then coming up, December 5th, is this amazing, uh, no, excuse me, on the, December 5th we have the Chamber's annual meeting where we're introducing the new board and our new officers. That is on a Wednesday. It'll be at 8.30 and that is going to be at Current's Third Space. Thank yes. you, Tracy. Tracy was here, um, I think it was last month. I can't remember. John, do you remember? Um, two months ago. Okay, so, and she's got a great, great the, restaurant. That's and that new space that they moved in. The um, we had a private party there one night. I got to tell you guys that if you haven't seen it, it's an awesome space. It is. It yes. is it's she absolutely works gorgeous. Very hard on this. Yes. And so we're having another Chamber's annual breakfast meeting there for introducing. Nice. But two days later on December 7th, um, Friday night, and it's the first Friday, but it's Snow Place like Tarpon. Huh? This is the city's huge deal. Uh, the Chamber is part of it. The Merchants Association is part of it as well. Um, the Chamber does the Christmas tree lighting at 6 o'clock. The mayor is there to plug in the lights. For, you you know, it goes poof and it is. We have <laughs> Tarpon Singers that are going to be there, which is a new group that started last year. It's made up of all kinds of retired singers from Dunedin, Safety Harbor, um, Palm Harbor, Tarpon Springs, nice. and they are terrific. They're going to be entertaining and starting at quarter to six and go for about an hour. Nice. So we have the Christmas tree lighting. And then through, you can walk around go in and out of the shops. There'll be specials going on. Snow will be coming off of the roofs. How they do this, I'm not quite sure. Um, but these snowflakes come down. That's awesome. And it's, I've watched little kids standing there with oh, their yeah. tongues out like I did when I was a little kid. Um, and the, the snowflakes are coming down. It's a lot of fun. There is a huge snow slide. Um, I, I was amazed when I saw it last year. It's a triple slide that comes off of the back of a big truck and the oh, kids nice. stand in line and they get to snow slide. Um, I think last year, the year before, was the first time they'd done it. Definitely going to be there again this year. Nice. Um, the chamber um, hosts the Santa letter um, table we have. Uh, we have the um, letters out there so that kids can write to Santa. We have the Santa mailbox that is out in front of the chamber and Santa comes by every couple of days and picks it up. Nice. His delivery man does and then um, so he can return the, ch the letters to the, or the, respond to the kids' letters. Um, it's just, it's delightful. And then at 8 o'clock that night is the lighted boat parade down in the bayou at Craig Park. So. This is something, Snow Place Like Tarpon is a huge deal. That's awesome. Um, there's close to 20,000 people that come to town and just wander around. The restaurants are full. It, last year when we did it, I was like a little kid just in wonder That's awesome. of how all this is going on. That's awesome. Then on the 15th of December, which is the following Saturday, is the Christmas parade at 10 o'clock. And that's a, a city um, parade, but the chamber organizes that's that just... and puts it on. Nice. And so that will be 10 o'clock. It'll go for about an hour. You talk about a wonderful hometown parade. Um, it is just neat. It's you know the, the the band, and we have not only Tarpon Springs band, we have East Lake band nice. um, that's coming over. I don't, I haven't looked through the the um, all of the float applications yet, but all of the businesses are coming. Um, we have some new ones this year, 
And I am proud to say that the Shriners are coming back. They haven't oh, been awesome. here in several years. And I got a call about three weeks ago. And they are coming back. And they're going to have clowns. They're going to have their little cars. They're going to have all kinds of fun stuff. That's awesome. You guys have so much stuff coming up. Um, the website to, for them to pick up all these events is what? If you go to our website, which is www.tarponspringschamber.com, um. then you go to our calendar and you'll start picking some of these up on it. We haven't had it on before. I have someone now that is putting these all awesome. up. And awesome. we are busy this, through the holidays. This lady's got it going on. Guys, we are at the end of the show today, but I can tell I truly enjoyed myself. I'm here with the President and CEO of, of Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce, Gene Hungerville. I'm Paul Friedlander. We'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. Come to Tarpon. <laughs>